the political tide is turning in Uruguay. And Miguel de los Santos wants the new government to tackle some of the country's biggest challenges. The economy is a problem. They tell you you can live on the minimum wage, but it's not enough. I receive a pension, but I'm still working because you have to pay for electricity, water and food, and it's difficult to pay for it all. We need to have at least two jobs to make enough, and it's tough. Luis Lacalle Pou is set to lead a center-right coalition, ending the 15-year reign of the leftist Broad Front Party that implemented reforms that turned Uruguay into one of the most progressive nations in the region. While in office, the Broad Front legalized marijuana, abortion and same-sex marriage. Social policies helped reduce poverty and increased access to health care. But amid rising unemployment and crime, those reforms were not enough to win November's elections. Gabriel Gutierrez says he has been robbed at least four times in the past years. He hopes a new government will improve the situation. I am not sure why, because poverty has dropped, but we have been robbed over and over again. I hope Lacal will take measures that will allow the police to take actions. Everyone in this neighborhood has been robbed at least once. Lacalle promises to immediately pass an omnibus bill that will try to address social and economic issues. Luis Lacalle Po is taking office in a country that in spite of economic difficulties and rising crime is largely perceived as stable in a region that in the past year has been filled with social unrest and economic troubles. His biggest challenge will be to carry out reforms without putting this country's stability at risk. Lacalle Po did not invite leftist president to his inauguration from countries like Venezuela, Cuba and Nicaragua. 60% of parliament are in favor of new elections in Venezuela, and even the outgoing government had conflicting views about what is happening there. But the new government that comes in will be tough with Venezuela. It will increase the pressure. In the past 15 years, Uruguay has managed to broaden people's rights. Now many here are hoping for further reforms to improve their lives. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Montevideo.